Life is both mysterious and amazing. Within this beautiful forest, there are all kinds of interactions taking place between both living and non-living factors. Let's take a look at the different levels of biological organization found on Earth. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to focus on the levels of biological organization, starting at the organism. However, an organism can be made up of cells, which make tissues which may make organs, which make up an organ system, and which all may combine to make an organism. Now life is so varied on Earth, some living organisms do not have tissues or organs. Okay, let's get started. An organism refers to a living thing that has an organized structure, can react to stimuli, reproduce, requires energy, plus grows and adapts. Examples include animals, plants, fungi, protists, and many, many more. Whenever you get a group of the same type of individuals together, like this group of penguins, or wolves, these horses, or plants, you have a population. The organisms are all of the same species. Now, if you have different populations living together, you have a community. A community does not include the non-living factors, also called the abiotic factors. Now, the next largest organization level is an ecosystem, and it's a community of living factors called biotic factors and non-living factors called abiotic factors interacting and living together. This desert is an ecosystem. This forest is an ecosystem. This pond's an ecosystem. And this rotting log can even be an ecosystem. An ecosystem, again, is a community of living and non-living objects living together in a particular area. Now, a biome is a large ecosystem that has formed in response to the physical environment in which it is found in a shared climate. Examples include a desert, tropical rainforest, and a deciduous forest. And finally, the biosphere is part of the earth where life exists. It's the sum of all of the ecosystems found on Earth. The biosphere includes both non-living elements like sunlight and water and living organisms. Thanks for watching and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.